Have you ever wondered if time travel could be possible? How would Einstein's theory of relativity factor into this? Let's dive into the fascinating world of Albert Einstein's theories of special and general relativity formulated in the early 20th century. These theories play a significant role in discussions about time travel. According to Einstein, time isn't a fixed entity. It's relative and can be influenced by factors such as gravity and velocity. Quite a mind-bending concept, isn't it? This means that time can pass at different rates for observers in different gravitational fields or moving at different speeds. So, if you were traveling near the speed of light or sitting near a heavy object, time would pass slower for you than for someone who is stationary or in a weaker gravitational field. So, if Einstein's theories hold true, time isn't as fixed as we perceive it to be. One of the intriguing consequences of Einstein's theories is the concept of time dilation. Picture this scenario. Two clocks, one stationary and another moving at a high speed or placed in a stronger gravitational field. According to the principles of time dilation, the moving clock, or the one in a stronger gravitational field, would appear to tick more slowly compared to the stationary one. This doesn't mean the clock is malfunctioning. Rather, it is a manifestation of how time itself can be stretched and shrunk, influenced by factors like speed and gravity. It's as if time is like a flexible fabric rather than a rigid line. What's fascinating is that this isn't just a theoretical idea. Experiments with precise atomic clocks have confirmed this mind-bending phenomenon. So, in essence, time dilation suggests that under certain conditions, we could theoretically experience time differently. Imagine the possibilities if we could harness this concept. Einstein's equations also hint at the possibility of closed time-like curves. When we dive deeper into the world of theoretical physics, we encounter some intriguing solutions to Einstein's equations, such as those involving rotating black holes. These solutions suggest the existence of what we call closed time-like curves, or CTCs. So, what exactly are these CTCs? In layman's terms, they are paths through the fabric of space-time that loop back on themselves. This looping nature of CTCs suggests that if we could somehow traverse these curves, we could end up where, or rather when we started, effectively traveling through time. However, the concept of CTCs is purely theoretical at this stage. We have yet to find any physical evidence of their existence. But the very notion of them, the idea that there might be these loops in the fabric of space-time that allow for time travel, is undeniably fascinating. Though purely theoretical, the concept of closed time-like curves opens up fascinating possibilities for time travel. But what about the paradoxes that time travel could potentially create? Let's dive into one of the most famous conundrums, the grandfather paradox. Imagine, if you will, a person who decides to take a jaunt back in time. Now let's say they accidentally prevent their grandparents from meeting, what happens then? Well, they've just eliminated the possibility of their own existence. A ticklish situation, isn't it? This is where the concept of time travel gets really, really tricky. If our time traveler doesn't exist, how could they have traveled back in time in the first place? It's a mind-bending loop that seems to defy logic. And resolving such paradoxes is a significant challenge in theoretical discussions about time travel. Could there be a way to navigate these paradoxes and still allow for time travel? Maybe. Or perhaps these paradoxes are the universe's way of saying time travel isn't meant to be. Either way, these paradoxes present substantial obstacles to the theoretical feasibility of time travel. Another concept that frequently comes up in discussions of time travel is wormholes. These are theoretical constructs, speculative structures that reside within the fabric of space-time itself. Imagine a folded piece of paper with two points marked on it. Now, if we could somehow puncture the paper creating a tunnel that connects these two points, we've got ourselves a rudimentary model of a wormhole. It's fascinating, isn't it? In the realm of theoretical physics, wormholes are proposed as potential shortcuts through space-time. It's like taking a cosmic detour that could potentially allow us to leap across vast distances in space, or even different periods in time. Yes, you heard it right, time travel. But, before we get too excited, let's not forget that these are still purely hypothetical. Some theoretical physicists propose the concept of traversable wormholes. These are wormholes that, theoretically, can be traversed to travel from one point in space-time to another. The idea isn't as far-fetched as it might seem, as it's a solution that arises from Einstein's general theory of relativity. However, the stability of such structures is a significant hurdle. 
To keep a wormhole open long enough for something or someone to pass through it would require a form of negative energy or exotic matter, a concept that is, as of today, purely theoretical. And even if we could find or create such exotic matter, there are still enormous challenges related to the construction and control of wormholes. In the end, the idea of wormholes, while intriguing, is a testament to the vastness of our universe and the mysteries it holds. They offer tantalizing possibilities for time travel, and their study continues to push the boundaries of our understanding of the universe. However, as it stands today, while wormholes offer a tantalizing possibility, they remain theoretical constructs at this point. Quantum mechanics, a field that deals with the behavior of very small particles, also has interesting implications for our understanding of time. This branch of physics, known for its counterintuitive principles, suggests that the nature of time might be even more complex than we imagine. One interpretation of quantum mechanics introduces the concept of parallel universes. In this view, each decision made creates a new, parallel universe, a concept that could allow for multiple timelines and theoretically, time travel. Then there's the idea of non-linear, temporal relationships. This suggests that cause and effect might not always follow a straight line in the quantum world. In fact, some experiments hint that effects can even occur before their causes. These concepts push our understanding of time beyond the linear progression we experience in our daily lives. The quantum world may offer us yet another perspective on the nature of time and its potential malleability. Even if time travel were theoretically possible, it would come with its own set of challenges. The practical implications are mind-boggling. How would we design a machine capable of navigating the intricacies of space-time? What kind of energy would it require? And let's not forget about the ethical conundrums. The ability to alter past events opens a Pandora's box of potential paradoxes. The most famous of these is perhaps the grandfather paradox, where a time traveler might prevent their own existence by interfering with the past. Then there's the issue of causality, the principle that an effect must always follow its cause. Time travel could throw this vital tenet of our reality into disarray. And finally, we must consider the preservation of the timeline. Could our actions in the past irreversibly alter the present, leading to profound and unpredictable consequences? As fascinating as time travel is, it's clear that it comes with a host of complex issues that go beyond the realm of physics.